These are the zoom in snapshots from 50 feet from three different cameras with three different field of views. And we will answer in this video if a wider field of view camera will have better video clarity. Let's find out. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today, let's talk about cameras field of view. I was planning to make this video a while back but never got around to do it. But when I checked out the new Wisecam OG Telephoto 3X, then I remembered that I have to make this video. Also, I will link that video in the description down below if you haven't seen it yet. For Reolink NVR IP camera users, stay tuned because I actually have some options for you. And you probably didn't know this, especially if you have Reolink's RLC 810s. Today, we are going to take a look at field of view or how wide or narrow the camera can see and how it affects the video clarity, especially at farther distances because there's a compromise. The wider the field of view, the lesser the clarity. Now, there are a lot of other factors involved, not just field of view, like resolution, which we are into 4K, 8 megapixel, 12 megapixel sensors, and probably in a few months is going to be 24 megapixels, which it does help with video quality. But if the manufacturer pairs this with a wide angle lens, then the video clarity will not be that great. And one good example of this is the Arlo Ultra, which is a 4K resolution camera. But because of its wide field of view and the compression they use, you could barely see the face and the license plate, and this is at 40 feet. Same thing with video compression, motion artifacts, or pixelation when there's movement, time of day, and many other factors are involved. But I think the field view has the greatest impact. When Wi-Fi cameras became popular, the trend is they also started making them with wide lenses, which is good. You can only have one camera to monitor your front yard. But beyond 20 feet, it can hardly identify faces, and good luck with reading license plates. All right, to better demonstrate this and Reolink users, do you know that the RLC 810, which is their basic 4K bullet camera, it has different lens options. And their website, and I don't think they sell this at Amazon yet, you can choose from the four millimeter lens, which is the standard lens that they use, and has a 87 degree horizontal and 47 degree vertical field of view. But they also started selling a wider 2.8 millimeter one that has a 101 degree horizontal and 55 degree vertical field of view. And a narrower six millimeter lens that has a 53 degree horizontal and 33 degree vertical field of view. All right, just to show the setup, I have the 820A and this one has the four millimeter lens and this is the regular or the standard lens that Reolink uses. And we have the 810A right here and this one has the 2.8 millimeter lens and this is the wider field of view. And on the other side is the 6.0 millimeter lens and this is the uh, narrower or the zoomed in version of the 810A. And lastly, just to compare at the end, would be the Wisecam OG 3X. Also, uh, the Reolink cameras, all of them record in 4K quality, 3840 by 2160 at 25 frames per second, while the Wise OG 3X records at 20 frames per second and it's only 1080p. And this test is at 50 feet and with the 2.8 millimeter wide lens, it is nice that the lens is wide and can monitor a lot more of my backyard. But when you zoom in, which you can only do digital zoom, also don't believe it guys, what you see on CSI on TV that they can zoom in and easily enhance a footage. Yeah. When I zoom in on the snapshot from the camera using Photoshop, the plates are not clear, but I guess you can somewhat make out the letters. But my face, not really. Also, I'm showing something else here, which aside from the glare, you really cannot make it out. As to the Running Man test, you really cannot read it. Now with the regular or standard 4mm lens, it is better. And now you can read the plates. And you can also see that I'm smiling. When I show the other side of the plate, you really cannot tell what is written. But as to the running test, you can now also read it, which is good. With the 6mm narrow lens, you will have a limited field of view, but as you can see, you can now read the plates without issues and even see the Texas word on top. But on the back of the plate, which is a thinner font, not really, but I bet some of you can guess and be able to read it. The running test is also okay, you can read the plates, but the face is still blurred. But comparing the snapshots, and remember the cameras have the same sensor, 8 megapixels and recording in 4K resolution. And the only difference is the field of view. And you can definitely see that the narrower field of view, the better the clarity of the footage. So what can you get from this testing? Well, depending on the area that you are going to monitor, a wide angle shot might not be the best setup. 
a narrower field of view camera will always give you more detailed footage. But that's good that Realme is giving us options. You can also get their zoom cameras and you can dial in the field of view, but they're a bit pricier. Now, how about the Wisecam OG Telephoto 3X? How do you think it will compare? This is only recording in 1080p at 20 frames per second, and it has a narrower field of view, only 23 degrees horizontal and 13 degrees vertical. Well, here it is, and as you can see, it is really zoomed in. Yep, license plate is crisp, and you can even recognize the brand of my shirt. It is way better than the Reolink 4K cameras, even their 6mm zoomed in one. And remember, there is a lettering behind the plate, and here it is. Thank you for subscribing. As to the running test, it is also pretty clear. All right, I might be overselling the Wise Cam here, but the OG 3X is actually a pretty good idea. A $35 camera, and you can install this by itself as a backup for your other cameras. And just to point to an area that is most likely someone or something is going to pass or stop, and you can get a more detailed footage. And to all those who are saying, nah, this camera is priced at $30 because Wise is wanting you to subscribe to their cloud subscription. Well, if you use this camera as a backup, you don't need a subscription. Just put in a micro SD card, set it for motion events or 24 seven if you like, and you don't even have to turn on notifications. Let your other cameras do that for you. But if there's an event that you need another camera's point of view, then you can retrieve the footage from the SD card of this camera. And luckily we can still use the app for that. Now at night, it will be different though because it will be hard to get detailed images or read license plates at night with any regular security camera. And I actually made a video about this which I will link it up here and I'll also link it down below and you can watch it next. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.